Welcome to part two of our Wi-Fi Air Expert video series. In this video, we'll cover the frequency bands and channel numbering used by Wi-Fi equipment. The 802.11b, G, and N standards are designed to transmit data over the 2.4 GHz frequency band and use frequencies from 2.4 to 2.5 GHz. The 2.4 GHz frequency band also called the Industrial, Scientific, and Medical, or ISM, band, has been released by the FCC for unlicensed use. This means a lot of different types of equipment can use it without requiring a license. In addition to Wi-Fi, other devices like Bluetooth, ZigBee, cordless phones, and even microwave ovens use the same frequency band. The 2.4 GHz band is divided into 14 channels spaced 5 MHz apart, beginning with channel 1 centered on 2.412 GHz. Since it's easier to remember channel numbers than center frequencies, people use channel numbers from 1 to 14 to describe which channel their device is using. 802.11 RF modulation techniques require about 20 MHz in channel width to operate, but since, unfortunately, the channels are spaced 5 MHz apart, there is significant overlap and interference between adjacent channels. This is why, in the U.S., it's recommended that equipment be deployed on channels 1, 6, or 11, which are the only non-overlapping channels. To make matters worse, the 802.11n standard allows the creation of 40 MHz channels by bonding two 20 MHz channels together in order to achieve a higher data rate. But this ends up creating even fewer non-overlapping channels and even more interference. In the U.S., the allocation is regulated by the FCC, and each country has its own regulatory agency. Channels 12 and 13, centered around 2.467 and 2.472 GHz respectively, are not allowed in the U.S., but are allowed in the rest of the world, while channel 14, centered around 2.484 GHz, is allowed only in Japan. Channels 1, 6, and 11 are the only non-overlapping channels. The 5 GHz UNII, or Unlicensed National Information Infrastructure Band, is less crowded than the 2.4 GHz frequency band and is used by the 802.11a, n, and ac standards. Center channel frequencies range from 5.180 GHz to 5.825 GHz. While the channels are 20 MHz wide, there is no overlap between adjacent channels. And once again, since it's very hard to remember channel frequencies, we use channel numbers instead. The first channel is 36, ranging from 5.170 to 5.190 GHz, centered at 5.180. The 5 GHz band is further divided into UNII 1, 2, 2 extended, and 3 bands. While most Wi-Fi devices will support only UNII 1, channels 36 to 48, and UNII 3, channels 149 to 165 for indoor use, the FCC and other regulatory bodies allow the use of the UNII 2 and 2E bands, provided that your device's radio can support dynamic frequency selection, or DFS, and transmitter power control, or TPC. DFS and TPC are designed to detect and automatically adjust Wi-Fi channels if military or weather radar systems are present in order to avoid interfering with these systems. If the DFS channels are used, the 5 GHz band offers a whopping 25 non-overlapping 20 MHz channels. Now because the 5 GHz band offered what seemed like a limitless number of channels, the 802.11n and 802.11ac standards made use of it by bonding adjacent channels to transmit even more data. With 40 MHz of channel width, 802.11n and AC can roughly double their transmission speed, but at the cost of allowing only four non-overlapping 40 MHz channels, or 12 channels with DFS enabled. By bonding two adjacent 40 MHz channels into a single 80 MHz channel, the 802.11ac standard reaches speeds up to 1.3 gigabits per second, but at the cost of allowing only two non-overlapping channels, or six with DFS enabled. The 802.11ac Wave 2 standard defines a 160 megahertz channel width to achieve up to 3.4 gigabits per second, 
either by bonding contiguous or discontiguous 80 MHz channels together. Okay, to make sure you understood some of the key concepts in this section, here's a little quiz. How many non-overlapping 20 MHz channels are available in the 2.4 GHz frequency band? Fourteen frequency channels are defined in the 2.4 GHz frequency band, and they're only 5 MHz apart. But Wi-Fi requires roughly 20 MHz in width to communicate, so only channels 1, 6, and 11 will not overlap in the United States. How many non-overlapping 20 MHz channels are available in the 5 GHz frequency band? All the 5 GHz channels are non-overlapping because they're designed to be 20 MHz wide. But if you start using 40, 80, or 160 MHz channel bonding to increase your data rate, you may have to start worrying about overlapping. If you want to be a good neighbor, make sure to set your access point to channels 1, 6, or 11 in the 2.4 GHz band, or move on up to the 5 GHz frequency band if you want to avoid interference.